What's up everybody? Couch Mills here coming at you with a brand new Valve video and in this video we're going to be teaching you the top six weapons to dominate eco rounds. Whether you're trying to do a bonus or you're trying to save, these are the best weapons that can get you an edge on the competition if you use them correctly so let's break them down. Now before we start though we're not including the Spectre. Of course the Spectre is like the go-to. Everyone always locks it. It's reliable, it's consistent but there are some situations where it's not something that you could buy because you're either too broke or it's just not what you actually want to be buying because you could buy something better now speaking of something better let's talk about in my opinion the most underutilized weapon in the entire game and it's the freaking bulldog now in the past the bulldog wasn't used very much it was a little expensive it had a really slow fire rate and people didn't really like the gun however with improvements to the cost making it cheaper and a faster fire rate the bulldog is better than freaking ever if you are disciplined with the weapon you can easily turn a corner a quick scope ADS and beam even a vandal user that is holding that angle because you're going to be able to use that because advantage combined with the fact that you're going to get first shot on them and they're going to get aim punch to absolutely annihilate plus the bulldog is a weapon that is pretty good at finishing people off just hip firing because of that increased rate of fire. Now, the thing that you need to be doing though with the Bulldog if you want to master it is you have to be practicing it. Whether it's in training room or free for all or even a quick play match, I would highly suggest trying to just run around with the Bulldog the entire time because it's definitely a weapon that is going to punish you a lot more than something like a Phantom for not having proper counter strafing and the recoil is definitely pretty difficult to get used to. But if you learn to master this weapon, it is definitely one of the best ways to get the most bang for your buck. Now, speaking of bang for your buck, we do need to talk about a weapon that is just freaking nuts right now, and it's the Marshall. The Marshall is absolutely insane, especially if you incorporate Hold to Scope. Remember, Hold to Scope is something we talked about in the previous video, where you essentially get to Quick Scope, and it is the fastest way to not only stay mobile while you're aiming, because you can quickly stop and scope in, but it's faster. You're going to be able to pop off these Quick Scopes where you wouldn't be able to do that with Toggle Scope. Now, one of the big mistakes that I see a lot of people make with Marshall is that they're buying like full armor with the Marshall. And while I understand, hey, you're buying a Marshall, you want to make sure that you are going to be like at the maximum amount of health. A lot of times Marshalls will live and die by distancing enemies and if you miss that shot when you full commit to a duel, it doesn't matter if you have armor or not, you're not going to be able to win. So oftentimes you'll see a player like Tens buy Marshall no armor, try to get the most bang for that really cheap amount of money, and potentially even one tap players that have much better guns. And the Marshall's definitely going to be a weapon that you're going to be wanting to do if you're on eco, but you have a little bit more money to spend, like you're trying to save, the enemy has rifles or even operators, you could buy a Marshall and potentially challenge as long as you're challenging the far distance distances on different maps like challenging up mid on ascent or challenging defense a long on haven there's a lot of different options you have with the weapon but you got to think about how you're going to push where you're going to push and where you're going to hold before you actually buy the weapon so you don't get put in a situation where it's not that great now the next weapon that we got to talk about is actually the stinger run and gun baby the stinger is the best in the freaking business now of course the stinger is going to be an amazing weapon to buy jointly as a team because you can rush a lot of these close range areas catch an enemy completely off guard with the stinger if you get into the effective range of the stinger really close to an enemy it really doesn't matter what weapon they have unless they insta kill you you're going to be able to run and gun and kill them just so damn quickly they're not going to be able to stop you now the most important thing about a stinger is using the natural cover or abilities to get as close as possible to the enemy before you full engage onto them let's say you're trying to play ascent right and you're trying to hit a you want to make sure that you are not challenging any far away silence you're not challenging heaven you're not challenging gen all the way back at gen you're using your smokes to block off these longer sight lines very deliberately and you're using your abilities to bridge the gap between the choke point and these areas like gen and back of sight so then at that point now you're in your effective range before the enemy that has a better weapon than you actually gets to fight you otherwise you're going to get caught in the middle of sight and someone that is all the way up in freaking heaven is going to challenge you and that's going to be the worst possible thing ever so something that you can do to set these up on purpose is let's say you're a phoenix you could molly heaven so no one could swing out or you could slow it as sage or the list goes on and on just using your abilities to either help you get into these really powerful angles quickly and away from the open lines of sight or using utility to prevent enemies that have these strong long range weapons to actually challenge you with their effective range in their gun. 
Real quick, if you like the content and want to support the channel, go check out the Game Leap website down below. But if you can't, you can always just smash that like and subscribe for a free puppy. But let's get back into the video. Now, the next weapon that we got to talk about that you can dominate eco rounds with is actually the shorty. Now, the shorty hasn't been getting a lot of love recently, but it's an amazing weapon to play on eco, especially if you are a character that has a lot of utility to play around and you're specifically on defense side. A perfect example of this would be playing something like split on defense B as a cypher. Now, you can use your camera in your cages to essentially play around the point, and if any enemy want to push through your cages, you can just get a really cheeky kill with that shorty now something that you need to do in order to get the maximum value out of this weapon is do your best to get as close as possible and one pump someone with one of your bullets of the shorty it's going to be very difficult if multiple enemies are rushing in to actually kill more than one person if it takes two bullets to kill someone so especially if they're caught completely off guard just literally barrel stuff them right in the chest and then you can either flick to another target or no one else is pushing and then you can just upgrade and steal their weapon and you got a free upgrade for like 200 credits. Now moving on to the next gun we gotta talk about, it's the Sheriff. Now not a particularly good gun to use when you are on a freaking buy round. You don't wanna be using the Sheriff when you are supposed to be buying. You wanna be buying Bulldogs, you wanna be buying Spectres. But when you are in a situation where the enemy has good weapons and your team can't buy, but you have a little bit of extra credits, buying that Sheriff can be one of those weapons like I said before in a previous video, high risk, high reward. You got the gunplay discipline down. You could potentially win duels up against phantoms and vandals, even operators with this weapon. And that is the potential of this gun. It has the possibility to swing around that on paper, you have no business winning at all, but the sheriff just translates all your fundamentals and your mechanical skill straight into a potentially one round where you can get upgrades for your team, get that entry pick and rush onto a site. Now, the last weapon that we got to talk about is actually the Ares. Now, the Ares is really an underrated weapon. It's not that expensive, and it's surprisingly good for certain site holds when you compare it to its direct competitor, the Spectre. Now, of course, the Ares is going to be a lot better on certain areas of the map where you can get value out of the wall bang ability. A perfect example of this would be using it for defense garage or defense B site. Those are the really common ones. However, you could set up even more situations like potentially trying to play on Haven, take a short and set up the wall bang through the wall. We've showcased this multiple times, even did a short on this channel about it where you could potentially wall bang through a shore and wall bang a plant that is planted mid on Haven, which is very powerful and ultimately something that you can really mainly pull off with an LMG like Ares in order for it to be absolutely consistent. It's also a weapon that is amazing for retake scenarios with this Ares to wall bang. Think about that split example where the enemy's planted on A and you need to play for retake. Well, using the Ares, you could actually check both the hell locations in advance so that you know that an enemy is not there. It's just one less angle that you have to cover and it's gonna let your engagements be a lot cleaner. But there's definitely a lot of situations where the Ares can get a surprising amount of value. Now I really wanna know down below what is your favorite eco weapon and why and is there any weapon that we didn't mention that we really should have definitely let us know down below but go to the game league website for in-depth advanced guides tips and tricks and VOD reviews but i really hope you enjoyed the video i love your damn faces thank you so much for coming by and see you next time